Welcome to another video. It's Sunday, not a lot's happening, so I thought I'd just uh, pop another one out for you. So the thought came to mind what with the, uh, you know, we're in the days of digital printing where you have millions of colours uh, at uh, the printer's disposal, at the publisher's disposal. What do they do back in the old days? Um, well, you might have heard of four colour printing. So basically, um, Everything was made up of what they call CMYK, which is uh, C, cyan, uh, M, magenta, Y, yellow, uh, and K equal black. So they just had uh, those four colours to choose from. But in that process, the uh, more, if I get this right, uh, you can get a, a deeper depth of colour, the more percentage variant that you use of each colour mixed with each colour, so even though you had four colours, you could get a bit of depth. So I thought I'd show you uh, one of the things that I have, um, which is to, to demonstrate how these things were printed, and I'm going to demonstrate that on an Alan class, Tales of Suspense number 91, which has a daredevil. Now, remember what I was saying about the um, millions of colours at our disposal in this modern era? Only four colours back then, so these are the actual printing plates um, for this comic. This particular one um, is red and it has the, the red legend stamped in there so nobody could get it wrong. So they pop that on a printer, red rolled paint, ink rather, sorry not paint, I suppose you could call it paint but ink, um, and this particular one would be the blue. Roller, roller, roller. That would be fitted into the press. Uh, this would be, get it right, the yellow metal printing plate. And it has yellow uh, lo legend logos embossed text into the metal plate there so nobody gets it wrong. And this is the black. So, yeah. CMYK, the four colour printing processes, process, utilises four metal stampers. These days, they don't use these, it's um, basically millions of colours used, uh, the artist stage passed on to the publisher, passed on to the printer, and you get your comic that looks so solid in depth. But that's the way they use things back in the, the old days, uh, four colour plates. So, what else can I say? except technology moves on. Um, but the, the glory days uh, are still in, our, still in our minds. I mean, when that book was printed, I was probably around about four or five years old, so they were still using that way of printing that far back, so 40 odd years back, me being 56 now. So um, yeah, anyway, just a very quick shout out and showing of how Alan Class made Amazing Stories of Suspense 91 featuring Daredevil. Uh, that's, that's awesome. Um, as you can see, or maybe not, to here is my stack of some of my Alan Class comics. So I need somewhere to uh, put them. I've got nowhere to put them at the moment, so I'm envisioning building a big, virtually floor wide um, cabinet to house them all in. And in this particular lot, I have another one, two, three, four. I've got another four issues with all the printing plates. Um, if you look back on my videos, if you're interested in seeing those plates, you'll see another one. Uh, for issue 102, which was a Nick Fury one, I believe. Um, so yeah, you'll see me rambling on about, about that. So, um, not much else to say really, but I thought, well, it's Sunday, I haven't got much to, uh, to do. It's said that I've spent, just spent about three hours in the garden doing stuff, but nothing that I really enjoyed, as you do. So I thought I'd make a very quick video to show you the CMYK four colour printing process. And uh, short but sweet, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I shall see you on the flip side. Cheers all!